It's a new boatastic adventure every day of the week. Come on, everybody. And it all leads up to a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Marathon that's all about... Let's be friends. Minnie. It's Minnie's Boatoons Week. Hey, look, I'm a bow. Starts Monday at 355, 255 Central on Disney Junior. <laughs> Now, get ready for Stanley on Disney Junior. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Do you know a guy who talked to a kangaroo? Hi there. <laughs> Who's always ready to learn about something new? Wow. Whose favorite book has all the animals you could wish? Yeah. Who's proud to say his best friend is a fish? That's right. It's my man Stanley. to catch a hamster. And that class is why the sky is blue. What a fascinating lesson. I just love visiting your class, Stanley. I learn so much just by listening. Yeah, I like it when you come to class with me too, Dennis. I hope you didn't forget that it's your turn to clean Harley the hamster's cage today, Stanley. Forget? I would never forget something like that. I love taking care of Harley. I even brought Dennis to help out. <laughs> well, then, I know Harley is in good hands. We'd better get to work. Hey, Stanley, can we help you clean Harley's cage? We love taking care of Harley. He's so cute. Sure thing. This is gonna be so much fun. He's just adorable. You remember how to clean Harley's cage? Sure we do. Consider us hamster experts, Ms. Diaz. Especially when it comes to Harley. I like watching Harley run on his little wheel. <laughs> it is fun to watch Harley play. But that wheel also helps him get lots of exercise, so he stays healthy. I'm going to help the other students get on the bus. I'll be right outside if you need anything. Thank you, Ms. Diaz. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get Harley out of there. Very good, Stanley. In order to clean Harley's cage properly, I suggest you put him in a temporary cage, like uh, that box over there. I have a better idea. You do? Yeah. Instead of cooping Harley up in that shoebox, we can all take turns holding him while we clean the cage. Well, I don't know if that's such a good... That's a great idea, Stanley. That way we can play and clean. Well, you could play with Harley after you clean the cage. Don't worry, Dennis. It'll be so much better this way. Trust us, Dennis. But I don't... It's settled, then. Who wants the first turn holding Harley? Me, please. Hi, Harley. You're so cute. I'll clean out Harley's food dish. <laughs> and then put in these yummy seats. Hamsters love seats. There we go. Can I hold Harley now? Here you go. I've got to get Harley some fresh water. There. Is it my turn to hold Harley? Here you go, Lester. This is working great. Oh, you're doing a very nice job with Harley's cage, but I still think you should put him in the shoebox. Dennis, you worry too much. Let's clean up the bottom of the cage now. 
Hey, where's the water bottle? Here it is! Thanks. All done. Now let's put Harley back in his nice, clean home. Yeah, Marcy! Put Harley back in his cage! Me? I don't have him. You do. No! I gave him to you! Or was it Mimi? Me? I don't have him. Maybe I just set him down on the desk next to Dennis. Well, now, I certainly didn't lose him. It's okay. We just have to find him, right? Yeah. Right. Find him. Good idea. Yeah, so just stay calm. We lost Harley! How could this happen? Well, I have an idea of how it happened. We gotta find Harley! Miss Diaz is gonna be so disappointed in us. We'll have to find Harley before she comes back. But where could he? Here, Here he goes! goes. Wait! Now perhaps we should. Whoa! This way! Hey. Oh boy, oh boy! I think he ran this way. Maybe he wanted some pickles. Lester, I don't think hamsters like pickles. That's true. Hamsters prefer grains, fruit, roots, leaves. And pickles? Uh, no, Lester. Hamsters don't like pickles. More for me! Harley! He went Here he is! Okay, Doug, let's get this gum out of your hair. Weirdy! <gasps> oh. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey, Lionel. We were, uh, just, um... What are you looking at? Um, you. Me? Yeah. Did you get a new haircut? No. It looks great. Well, thanks, guys. I have been using some new gel, and, uh... <laughs> what was that? Gotta go, Lionel. See you later. Whatever. I can't believe we lost Harley. What are we gonna do? We can still find him. Let's try to think of where a hamster would want to go. Hmm. Great big book of everything might have some answers. What did you say, Dennis? I said, the great big book of everything. What did you say? The, um, great big book of everything. What? I said, the great big book of everything. Oh, the, the great, great big, big book, book of, of everything. everything. It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's a perfect guide. I want to run and hide. The hamster got away. Now let's find out where he wants to play. Hamster starts with H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Hamster. It says here that hamsters are part of the rodent family. You mean hamsters are related to mice and rats? Why, yes, they are. And rabbits, and gerbils, and a great many other creatures. <laughs> the rodent family is quite large. I'll say, look at all the different kinds of hamsters. Yes, there are many different species of hamster. There's the black-bellied hamster, the dwarf hamster, and the golden hamster, just to name a few. The golden hamster looks just like Harley. That's right. Golden hamsters are the most common hamsters, but they're sometimes called Syrian hamsters. Let's learn more. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun. Yay! Wow, this is some desert. Hamsters really live here? Indeed they do. Golden hamsters like arid places like this. Oh, arid means very dry. There's one now! Where'd he go? Unlike domesticated or pet hamsters like Harley, wild hamsters spend lots of their time in underground burrows. Why would they do that? It's much cooler underground, out of the sun. Hey, we can use my stanoscope to get a better look. He's got a lot of food in there. Hamsters gather food, then save it in their burrow. Kind of like squirrels with nuts. Exactly. How do they make the burrows? 
Hamsters have special feet that are very good for digging. They're also very good for running in the sand. I thought he was moving pretty fast for such a little guy. Where are all the other hamsters? Hamsters are solitary animals. That means they prefer to live alone in their own special place, just like Harley. Harley! We gotta get back and find Harley! Oh, no, not another one! Now we have to find two hamsters. Uh, perhaps we should... We better start looking again! Maybe if we... I'll check the janitor's closet. But the... I'll check the bathroom. Wait, what is it, Stanley? Dennis has something to say, and I think it's about time we listen to him. Well, <laughs> I was going to remind you that golden hamsters like the desert, so perhaps that is where this hamster would like to go. You're right, Dennis. What you doing, Stanley? I'm looking for desert. Good thinking, Dennis. Thank you, Stanley. But now we have to find our hamster. I have an idea. If hamsters like the desert, then we should look in places around here that are dry and sandy. <clears throat> Where do you think Harley might be? In the bathroom? The sandbox? Or perhaps in Lionel's locker? It's got to be the sandbox. Of course, the sandbox. Harley must have gone to the sandbox because it's sandy like the desert. Yeah, and I'll bring the shoebox to put him in. Let's go. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Over here. Hooray! We found him. <gasps> Sorry we didn't listen to you sooner, Dennis. Now we all make mistakes, Stanley. But one mistake we don't want to make again is losing Harley. I suggest we get him back inside his proper cage before we have another mishap. I'm with you, Dennis. Let's go. <sighs> I sure am tired. Chasing hamsters is hard work. <laughs> yes, his fast little feet did make him difficult to catch. We're lucky you helped us find him. I never would have thought of looking in the sandbox if it wasn't for you. Well, well, thank you, Stanley. It was a team effort. We make a pretty good team, don't we? That we do. Good night, hamster boy Stanley. Good night, Dennis. Pearls of Wisdom. like an excellent plan to this cool creature that lives in the water, Stanley. Here's your sandwich, Stanley. It's your favorite, peanut butter and banana. Thanks, Mom. Ah, a perfect start to a perfect day. I think I'll take a dip before lunch. See you later, little bro. Hey! <sighs> Lionel kicked sand all over my sandwich. <laughs> I don't think that's what they meant when they called it a sandwich, do you? <laughs> I can't eat it now, Mom. Well, here, why don't you have this veggie sandwich instead? Perhaps now would be a good time for you to collect those shells you mentioned earlier. Hey, good idea. Can I go collect some shells, Mom? Sure, sweetie. Just stay where I can see you. Okay. Want to come, Dennis? Uh, no, thank you, Stanley. I'm quite happy to stay right here and read this book on seashells. It's very good. You won't believe all the great shells I found. Good for you, Stanley. Look, Dennis. I'll lay them out so you can see. Very impressive collection, Stanley. Ooh, that was some excellent body surfing. I need to dry off. Hey, what's all this junk doing on my towel? That's not junk. 
Those are my shells. I just, those are my. Oh, was this your towel? There you go. I'm gonna go play. Later. I'm sorry, sweetie. I don't think Lionel realized those were your shells. Do you want to collect some more shells, honey? No, I'll just make my sand castle. I mean, Lionel can't mess that up if he's all the way over there, right? Look, Dennis, I finished my sand castle. Here's a tower, and the drawbridge is here, and that's where they keep the elephants. That is quite a castle, Stanley. I got it, I got it, I got it! <gasps> Oops, knocked over your sand pile. Sorry, bro. Heads up! Oh. Would you like me to help you build a new castle, Stanley? No, thanks. Lionel's ruining everything. First my sandwich, then my shells, now my sand castle. Well, you must be quite angry after all the time you spent building it. But does Lionel care? No. You know, Stanley, when you're upset with someone, sometimes it helps to talk about it. I am talking about it. Well, yes, but what I mean is it helps to talk to the person you feel angry at and tell them how you feel. I don't ever want to talk to Lionel again. Never. Ooh, never is a long time, isn't it? What do you think? Should Stanley never again talk to Lionel? Hmm? What is this weird shell? I believe that's an oyster shell. Oysters live in closed shells that protect their soft body inside. Oysters have the right idea. Live inside a shell where no one can bug you and mess up your stuff. Hey, Stanimal, open up. Open up. Sorry, no can do. I'm an oyster. I don't open up for anyone. Yeah, that's the life. Well, actually, it's not quite that simple. While the oyster shell is closed, small things can still get in and out. And the oyster needs these things to survive and thrive. What do you mean? What small things? Well, uh... Oh, wait! I have an idea. Why don't we... Look up oysters in the great big book of everything. <laughs> you took the words right out of my... Cowabunga! Huh? It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. Just when you thought it was safe. Let's find out how oysters dwell inside a Surf's up. Gotta go. Later, dudes. Well, Stanley, shall we? Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. O for oyster. Here it is, the oyster. It's what's known as a bivalve. That is, it lives in two shells that are connected together. The bi in bivalve means two. Hey, I get it. Bivalve. Kind of like how my bicycle has two wheels, right? Exactly. The oyster shell is thick and has a rough sculpted appearance. Inside the shell is where the soft body of the oyster lives. Let's go in and find out more. By all means. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun. Yippee! Where are we? We're in shallow salt water, such as you might find near the shore of the ocean or a bay. This is where oysters live. See? I just see rocks. Look closer. Use your stanoscope. Good idea. Hey, oysters! That's right. Oysters attach themselves to rocks and then live out their lifespan in that one spot. Wow, it just sits there its whole life? You got it. Inside its shell, it has a powerful muscle called an adductor, which is very strong and holds it closed. 
He makes the oyster very difficult to open. How hard could it be? It's so small. Wow, that is one strong adductor muscle. But wait a minute. If the oyster can't go anywhere and it's all closed up inside its shell, how does it get food? How does it live? I'm glad you asked that, Stanley. The fact is, oysters do live closed up in their hard shells, but water and the tiny particles in water can get in. This is how oysters eat. They're what's known as filter feeders. They pump as much as two to three gallons of water through their shells each hour. That's 72 gallons a day. Whoa, that's a lot of water for such a little guy. Indeed it is. The oyster filters out microscopic plants and animals called plankton, which are its food. So it keeps the good stuff and pumps the water back out again. Right you are. So you see, oysters look closed off, but in fact they're not. Sometimes a grain of sand or other small object will get inside their shells. This acts as an irritant and causes the oyster to build layers around the object. And after a few years, a mature oyster can sometimes form a pearl. Pearls are considered quite valuable by people, you know. Hmm. You mean like the pearls in my mom's necklace? Exactly. So you see, the oyster has to interact with the world outside its shell. And sometimes, because it's opened up just a little, something very beautiful happens. The pearl? Indeed. And just like an oyster has to open up to live and thrive, so do people. And people can open up by talking. You know, communicating their feelings. You mean like me telling Lionel about how I'm mad at him for being such a stinker? Well, perhaps I wouldn't have used those exact words. But yes. Okay, I'll give it a try. Whoa, where'd you come from? I didn't see you there. Oh, yeah. I was just, um, reading about oysters and how they open up. Oh, cool. Lionel, could I talk to you about something? Sure, bro. What's up? Well, I... I guess I... I guess I've been kind of mad at you. You have? Why? Because you kicked sand on my sandwich, then you messed up my shells and you took my towel, and then you wrecked my sand castle. I did? I guess I was so busy doing my own stuff, I didn't know I was messing things up for you. Guess I acted like a real stinker. Well, I wouldn't have used those exact words. Sorry about that, Stanley. It's okay, Lionel. I guess you didn't know because I didn't tell you. Yeah, you should always tell me when you're mad, okay? We're brothers. Okay, I will. From now on. Hey, I just got a great idea. Come on. This is the coolest sand castle ever. Totally. Let's call it Pearl Castle. My Pearl Castle. Well, oysters wouldn't make pearls unless grains of sand got inside their shells and bothered them. And this castle is something cool that we never would have made if you hadn't been bugging me so much. <laughs> <laughs> Great day today, Stan. Night, bro. Night, Lionel. Wow, Dennis. This was the perfect day. Lionel and I never had such a good time before. Talking certainly brings people closer together. I guess that's why you and I are best friends. Because we always have such good talks. I feel the same way. Hey, don't ever shut me out, huh? Oyster boy. I won't. Good night, Dennis. When you come through the door, don't leave a messy floor. Just remember that you've got to wipe your paws. It isn't such a chore. Just remember that you've got to wipe your paws. When you come in the door, don't leave a messy floor. Just remember that you've got to wipe your paws. Stay tuned for Timmy Time, coming up on Disney Junior.
Now that Sophia's become a princess, she's got a lot to learn. Pardon me? Being kind is really important. I think you're perfect. And you can't be afraid to try something new. I came to try out for the team. What? what? And when you make a mistake, it's okay to say you're sorry. I'm sorry about the way I acted tonight. You're my best friend. She's the new girl in crown. I'm very excited. And she's got what it takes to be a really great princess. I'm ready to practice. Come see in Disney Junior's new series, Sophia the First. Let's go! First, a new series, Friday afternoons at 5.30, 4.30 Central on Disney Junior. Ahoy! I'm Cubby. I've got the map to Neverland. Yo-ho, let's go! Right now, we're in Have a Banana Grove. <laughs> Where do we go next, Cubby? Want to check out Sailor Swamp? Yuck! Whoa! Slippery Serpent Forest! Explore with Cubby and the rest of the crew on Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Weekday afternoons at 5.30, 4.30 Central on Disney Junior. Deep in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh has had many wonderful adventures. And here's one of them right now. Spring had arrived, and this was a day that Pooh had been looking forward to for some time now. So as the sun rose, he was already awake and had a particularly bouncy bounce to his step. <clears throat> Pooh! Wake up! Pooh! Oh, bother. I was having the most wonderful dream. I'm sure, but it's time to wake up. Remember, you have a very important thing to do today. Uh, like what? I'm sure it will come to you. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> what could be more important than a little something to eat? <laughs> or perhaps a little... Large or something? <laughs> oh, not to worry, Tommy. I always know what to do. A Pooh Bear takes care of his tummy. He fills it with things that are sweet. A Pooh Bear takes care of his tummy. I'm never forgetting to eat. When it is growly and gummy, the search for the honey is on. The Pooh has a knack for finding a snack unless all the honey is gone. A pooh bear takes care of his tummy. No need for the tummy to fret. A pooh bear takes care of his tummy. He knows what his tummy must get. Don't worry, my round little chummy. I'm hearing your ravenous plea. When there is no honey, the pooh takes the tummy wherever the honey will be. My friends are out there with honey to spare, and they will take care of my tummy. And me. Bother. <gasps> Pooh did in fact take care of his tummy, and what did he do? Well, that is an entirely different story for an entirely different day. All in a place called a Hundred Acre Wood. Now available on Disney DVD. There's something new at the clubhouse. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the clubhouse farm. Mickey and Donald have a farm. Mr. Musk of Doom. And on that farm are all your friends. With the howdy howdy here. Here's fun, there's fun, lots of fun for everyone. But something goes missing. Do you see what's missing on the farm? The animals. Come out, come out wherever you are. And you can help Mickey and his friends find the animals, too. Mickey and Donald have a farm. Mr. Mouse will do. Disney's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey and Donald Have a Farm. Now available on Disney DVD, including a free planting activity kit. I have a surprise for everyone. This week, all Doc's toys are special, but only two of them get their very own week. <laughs> Hello! Doc makes Stuffin's Lammy and Stuffy Week. Let's cuddle! Yay! That means a whole week of episodes all about... Ray! 
That was scary, Stuffy. That's how we dragons do it. Your favorite dragon stuff.